When you rely on vanity metrics to inform your digital marketing campaigns, all sorts of weird things can happen. <laughs> when you try and retarget your website visitors with ads, you get terrible results because it turns out the people who visited all those blog posts really aren't interested in taking your business relationship any further. Your engagement rate plummets on social media because all those people who followed you just really aren't interested in what you do. And when your engagement rate plummets, your reach plummets. No one opens your email marketing campaigns or worse, they open them, they unsubscribe, they mark you as spam because the reason they signed up to your email list has nothing to do with your business. So how do we fix this? What is a vanity metric? How can you stop yourself from chasing them? That's what we're going to look at in this video. But first, if you'd like a digital marketing lesson just like this one once a week in under 10 minutes, subscribe to this channel and click the bell. That way you'll get a notification each time I upload a new lesson. What is a vanity metric? Well, they're statistics that make you feel good. They make you feel like that time that you are spending on your digital marketing is well invested, but they're lying to you. They can be anything. How many followers you have, how many email subscribers you have, how many website visitors you have, how many customers you have. Wait, how can the number of customers you have be a vanity statistic? Surely that is a mark of success. It can but only when those customers are paying you enough money to pay your wages, your business expenses, and for you to grow your business. Find out more about how you can find that out in this video about lifetime customer value, but not yet after you've watched this one. Essentially, vanity statistics make you feel good. They brush up your ego, but they are standalone numbers that don't help you grow your business and aren't specific. You may have 10,000 followers, but how many of those actually fit your target market? You may have a massive engagement rate on social media, but how many of the posts people are engaging with are designed to attract the right people, nurture your customers and sell to them? Or did you just post a cute cat picture? You may have 100,000 website visitors a month, but none of them are buying from you. What can you do about these vanity statistics? Firstly, you can have a massive content clear out, getting rid of that content that is drawing the wrong audience to your business. So go find all your big content and then apply the trash or rehash method. You're going to trash any content that doesn't build your audience, nurture your audience, or sell to your audience. You're gonna trash any content that is just a little bit thin. And you know what? Even if you worked on it for a long while, it's not gonna be good enough. You're going to rehash any content that has potential to build your audiences, to engage your audiences, to nurture your audiences, and to sell to your audiences but maybe it just needs a little bit of work. The next step is to design a whole new content plan with your business goals in mind. Don't be chasing those vanity statistics anymore. Just look at creating stuff that is going to attract the right people into your business. And as harsh as it may seem, delete people. Delete people from your social media accounts that you know just aren't a good fit for your business. Have a purge on your email list. Who isn't opening? Who isn't clicking? You could try a re-engagement campaign and if that doesn't work, delete them from your list. It's like spring cleaning. It actually makes you feel quite good. It does. And finally, find new metrics for success. Set key performance indicators that shorten to KPIs that will help you measure your digital marketing campaigns in the future. For example, instead of measuring audience growth, measure relevant audience growth. Instead of measuring website visitors, measure how many people actually visit your sales page. Instead of measuring email subscribers, how many email subscribers are opening, clicking and replying? And always, always measure conversion rate. And when you do all that, you will find out that when you run retargeting campaigns, you will actually get conversions. In fact, you'll find that more of the people who visit your website will visit your sales pages and end up buying from you. You'll find that your open rates on your email will go up and people will buy from your emails. You'll find out 
that your social media engagement rate and the conversion rate from your social media will skyrocket. What are you waiting for? Go set some KPIs. And don't worry if you're still confused about what they are. That's what I'll be covering in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe.